that you've mentioned but my favourite uh, art to create is the visual arts and I guess that's probably the reason why is because I can't do any of the others. However, <laughs> I do appreciate them all. I love um, going to the theatre but if you put me on a stage I'd get stage fright and I really love music and need it in my life and I use it um, in the background when I'm painting. But my fingers are itchy for a brush and paints. Do you prefer to stick to one type of art or branch out and explore others? Why? Well, within the visual arts, I prefer to do two-dimensional art rather than um, three-dimensional art like sculpture. Uh, and that's pretty much because I can think better two-dimensionally than three-dimensionally. It's quite an art form uh, to do something three-dimensionally. And in the two-dimensional um, art forms of painting uh, and printmaking and so forth, I tend to um, use oil painting, watercolours and uh, acrylic paints. I have done printmaking and mixed media and collage. But I like the visual arts um, and the two-dimensional art form because it's fun. I like to challenge myself with fresh ideas and explore different things, even though that can be a challenge uh, and difficult, that's what makes it exciting for me. At what age did you first express an interest in art? Well, I always loved drawing as a child and I can remember spending many hours on the illustration component of a school project and staying up way past my bedtime something I was really absorbed in and as children we were encouraged to make cards like birthday cards which I still do today but I guess I uh, made a more committed uh, interest in art when I finished school and went to art school. Growing up, how involved was art in your life? Um, I was surrounded by a type of art uh, when I grew up because my father was an industrial designer and uh, he did technical drawings and renderings and when he freelanced he did those from home or from his studio so I had quite ready access to seeing that so that was really inspiring and um, as a teenager living at home mum and dad were very interested in going to galleries, like commercial galleries, which I would uh, go with them on the weekend. So that's how it, I became involved in art as a uh, growing up. Did you continue art through school and did it influence your decisions on a job? Um, yes, I did continue art through school. I continued it right through high school and it was my favourite subject. I loved doing art. Um, it wasn't as challenging as secondary school art is nowadays, or as interesting, but um, I went on then to go to art school, and because I knew and loved art, it, it did influence the job that I got. I uh, ended up working as a graphic artist, and then as a secondary school art teacher, and then as the education officer at the Hamilton Art Gallery. Have you ever exhibited any of your work? And if you have, and who did you do it with? Yes, I have exhibited my work. Um, I had, I've had uh, three solo exhibitions and two combined exhibitions. And I've also exhibited in large uh, community-based exhibitions. Um, the first exhibition I had was in 1987. And um, that was in conjunction with the Redeemer Lutheran Primary School in South Australia where the children attended and they had a school fate one weekend so I organised to have an exhibition there in the library, it was set up as a, a viewing space uh, and uh, following that exhibition I was asked to have another exhibition probably about five months later as part of the Vintage Festival in the Barossa Valley at Chateau Yarradarra Winery. Uh, 
then following that, two years later, I decided, because those were successful, that I would have another exhibition during the Vintage Festival. And I had that at Bethany Church um, Hall, with, and it was a combined exhibition with my father, who by then had retired and was doing watercolours and pastel. I'm currently painting in oils and when I began that I attended some art classes here in Geelong with Jill Shelley's and Leanne Goff. So to a degree they've influenced me, particularly technically, with my work. Um, as far as aesthetically goes, I've, I like uh, a slightly freer approach and I've been influenced by Sarah Paxton, who's a local artist and Collie Wisson, who happens to have the same surname as my maiden name. If you had to describe your work in one sentence, what would it be? Oh, that's a challenge. I have prepared a sentence here because I didn't think I would remember. My work is a celebration of my God-given gifts, both for myself, for the enjoyment of others, and to give glory to God. But your question is probably asking me to describe the type of work I do. In that case, I would say, in one sentence, my work captures more than the eye can see. It captures not only the essence of the subject, but the spirit of the subject. At least that's what I hope to achieve. Do you prefer to paint landscapes or portraits? Why? I do prefer to paint portraits. And I think it's because faces speak to me more than landscapes. Um, the faces seem to, to me tell a story, they have character. There's something about the spirit of the person, which I, is what I would like to capture. It's not that landscapes don't have some of that as well, and I really appreciate landscapes that are handled that way, but uh, portraits just speak to me more. I think a favourite technique is what they call scumbling and it's a dry brush technique that um, you use to build up layers, one, one layer over the um, top of a, the previous layer so you can still see some of the previous layer through it. It's um, used most effectively or easiest I guess in acrylic painting because that dries faster so I think that's I feel very at home with that technique. Thanks so much, Grandma or Sally, for helping me conduct um, this interview. It's been an honour. Oh, thanks, Ishi or Amani. It's been my pleasure and it's helped me think about my art and aspects of it in more detail. Thanks and all the best for the project. Thanks.